you guys through some uh, some of the OS 7.1 uh, features that were, were that are being released by Sprint and Verizon now and uh, coming to from other carriers uh, in the coming weeks. So the first one I want to talk about is uh, Wi-Fi mobile hotspot. So you see is a new feature here in the Manage Connection screen that will allow you to turn your BlackBerry into a Wi-Fi router and share your internet connection with uh, up to five Wi-Fi devices. So really good. You know, if you have tablets or laptops and you want to, you know, be productive while you're on the go, you don't have to hunt down uh, Wi-Fi hotspots. Um, and then as well, we're starting to build out our NFC story and make sharing files really easy with BlackBerry Tag. And so basically, Black BlackBerry Tag allows you to share any digital content on your phone really fast and easy. So I'm going to show you a quick example of how to share pictures using BlackBerry Tag. So, so I'm going to look at this picture. It's a nice picture of a bird. I want to share it with my friend. I put the two phones. Sorry, the screens need to be on. I put the two phones back to back. There's NFC on both of these. Let's see. an initial connection which is actually uh, transferring over to Bluetooth and then it'll send the file over. There's a lot of Bluetooth noise in here so it's a little bit slower but, but basically you can see it's opened the picture on the other side. And so I mean you can send pictures uh, or music or video files by email today but what this does is it's very instant, it's very it's very fast and it's very personal. If you want to share content with somebody you would do it simply by tapping two phones together. So in this case I want to send four pictures and it'll start to send the four pictures over by Bluetooth. And so I'm just going to escape this because I don't actually want to send these through. But what we did was we went app by app to see which apps would benefit the most by having BlackBerry tag capabilities. So in contacts, you can share you can share contacts uh, with somebody over BlackBerry tag. Um, browser URLs, so if you're on a website you want to share it with somebody, you can share it by BlackBerry tag. Um, inside the media applications, you can do, like I said, pictures, music, video files, voice notes. Um, inside of BBM, when you go to invite somebody, there'll be a new feature. It's called BlackBerry Tag. It's the same thing. You go in, you want to invite them. It's like a digital handshake, right? And it'll and it'll invite them over. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, it adds a bit of fun right. to uh, to BBM. And going through even more, we have um, functionality built into Docs to Go. So if you're looking at a document, you want to share that with a colleague, you know, I have an Excel spreadsheet open here, I would just go in, tap the two phones together back to back, and it'll transfer the document over. So it gets, it gets really good when you have a large file, like if it's like 10 or 15 megs, because you don't have to send it over the wireless network. Um, you don't have to worry about incurring any additional charges or having to wait. So you can see it's opened up on, uh, on the other bowl. So we're really excited about BlackBerry Tag. We've opened up a bunch of APIs for third-party developers to, to be able to build Tag into their own app. So for instance, you know, if you're a Foursquare, uh, when they when they integrate with NFC, you'll be able to check in by tapping your phone against a poster. For a, fa Facebook, it'll be inviting friends. So it's, it's very much like a digital handshake. Um, and then as well, uh, a couple more features that I'll highlight in 7.1. Um, we've integrated with Microsoft Bing to make finding things you're looking for a lot easier. So, you know, from the home screen, you can start typing anything you want. If I'm looking for lunch and I want to have some pizza, I type pizza, and you can see very quickly that it's Bing has thrown back a bunch of uh, suggested responses. This is very, very similar to how it is in your desktop browser where you start typing and uh, there's, there's stop or start. Yeah. Um, where you get suggestions back with each character that you type. And so um, this just makes it, like I said, a lot easier to, to find what you're looking for. And then for T-Mobile customers, we've introduced Wi-Fi calling. So you can make calls over Umagan and uh, save on talk time minutes. So, so those are some of the big bang features in 7.1. And it's all about making things easier uh, in the day-to-day -day tasks and, uh, and opening up APIs for third-party developers. This is available now for any BlackBerry customer? Yeah, that's a great question. So it's available now through Sprint and Verizon. Sprint and, Verizon. and then uh, we're working with all the BlackBerry 7 carriers to make 7.1 available over the next coming, coming weeks. Awesome. So um, all those uh, 225 carriers that we launched in the summer will bring 7.1 uh, to, to, to BlackBerry soon. Awesome. Thank you. No problem.